Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix all of your legs, get better FPS in Gotham Knights. Once again, this is a new game and I thought that I should make a video to help you guys. So make sure to watch this video till the end as I'm going to be addressing all of the problems for you guys. And if you have any problems, again, leave your problems and your computer specs in the comments below. I'm going to reply each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is NVIDIA control panel settings. And if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can do it. If you have an AMD graphics card, do something similar. So click on any empty area of your desktop and go to show more options. If you have a Windows 11, then go to NVIDIA control panel. Now, once again, in NVIDIA control panel, you have to go into adjust image settings with preview and use the advanced 3D image settings. Then go to manage 3D settings. And over here, just copy all of these settings, image scaling off, ambient occlusion off, anisotropic filtering off, and rest of all of them are to be copied as it is. Once you're done copying the manage 3D settings, go down into configure surround slash physics and over here use your processor as your GPU. Do not leave it to auto select or CPU as using this will automatically use your GPU whenever you play the game. Then scroll down all the way to adjust video color and over here with Nvidia settings use the monitor if you have uh, the dynamic range is set to limited. I highly recommend you guys to set it to full to get advanced colors on your display. Then simply click on apply and it should be good. Once you're done with the NVIDIA controls panel settings, next step is the essential window settings. And to follow that, simply go into the settings section. And once you're over here, you have to search for game mode. Go to turn on game mode and make sure that game mode is enabled. This will allow your PC to perform much faster when any game is running. This will automatically disallow the running of unnecessary services and applications in the background allowing your pc to use more resources towards your game then right beneath that there are related settings in which you will find graphics now over here you have to add your game into the browse section if it is not already added it would automatically determine the app preferences by default just give it a little bit of time and it will automatically show you all of those applications which require a gpu usage if you do not find your game over here, you can simply go to browse and then go to the install location of your game. Once you are in the installation directory of your game, you can simply select the .exe file, simply click on add, go to options and then use high performance, then click on save. Once you're done with that, you have to search for startup applications. Go to startup applications and disable all of the unwanted startup applications which you do not want to start when your computer boots up. This will significantly improve your booting of your computer and allowing your computer to perform much faster. And once again, I highly recommend you guys to look for the applications that you are turning off in case you do not know about any application. I highly recommend you guys to not turn that thing off. Once you're done with these settings, you can simply proceed to close. Step number three is system configuration. And once again, this is related to boot. Press your windows key and then search for system configuration. Once you are over here, select the boot section, then go to advanced options and then click on number of processors and use the maximum number of processors available in your computer. This will allow your PC to use the maximum number of cores while your computer boots up. Ultimately, it will allow your PC to perform much faster and much better. Simply click on apply and click on OK. Then click on exit without restart. Step number four is adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. This is a really crucial step and I highly recommend you guys to do that. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows it opens up just like this by default it will be set to the first option but what you're looking for over here is adjust for best performance and that will disable all of those tick marks right below it this will basically de-animate your windows and your windows won't be materialistic but your computer will perform much faster right away if you are facing any kind of issues and you do not like the new look of windows you can always set it back to the first option step number five is creating a restore point and to do that simply press your windows key and search for create a restore point once you are over here look all the way down into local disk c which says system over here click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled then click on ok click on create and name it gotham knights and then simply click on create 
I recommend you guys not to skip this step because if anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back in your computer without any data loss. Now, step number six is downloading the Gotham Knights FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Once you have downloaded and extracted it, you will find four folders. First one is registry optimization, power optimization, RAM optimization, and MSI utility v3. Go into first folder and you will find many registry files over here. You can simply right click, go to show more options and click on edit. Click on run to see what other things that these files are going to make changes. And if you are satisfied with those changes, you can simply click on merge. All of these settings will basically do not harm your computer. But in case you are curious what is in these files, you can always check and look what you are doing. And once again, you have to apply these four files. And if you have a low and medium end computer, you can use the low and low med optimization. If you have a medium to high end computer, you can use the med high optimization. So you have to pick one of these and once again I have also left all of uh, these things over here which will always change all of these settings back to the default ones. So if you feel that you are not satisfied with these files you can always revert them back. Go to the second folder which has the ultimate power plan. You have to copy this string over here and then open cmd as administrator. Once you open up the command prompt you have to paste this over here. Press enter. I've already done it for myself. So I have to open the control panel now and then look for power option. Go into power option and make sure to click on ultimate performance. It can be under hide additional plans. And yep, if you are using a laptop, I highly recommend you guys to use balanced as using ultimate performance will burn up your resources and your battery very quickly and it will also lead your laptop to be heated very quickly. So if you're on a laptop, use balanced, but if you use a computer, I highly recommend you guys to use ultimate performance. Once you're done with that, go back into the FPS pack, the third folder, which is the RAM optimization. And basically all of these files are presets of memory. So you have to search for system information. And over here, you have to look for the installed physical memory on your computer. If you already know it, you can use any of these. So for me, it is 16 GB RAM. So I have to use 16 GB RAM file. It can be different for you. So you can choose amongst any of these. And once again, if they do not work perfectly fine, you can always reset them back to default. Now last is the MSI utility V3. So right click, run it as administrator. This software basically allows you to change the priority of your hardware. So as you guys can see, all of the hardwares which are currently installed in my computer is basically listed over here what you're looking for is the graphic card if you have any i have my graphic card over here so go all the way to the right side interrupt priority and set this to high click on apply and then close it this will allow your gpu to perform much faster when you're playing the game once you're done with the fps pack you can close it and now open gotham knights for the best in game settings okay once you are in the game have a look around you if the game feels smooth you do not have to change the settings but if you feel that your game is laggy press the escape key then go into options and then over here you have all of your general settings but there is nothing that you need to change in the general settings go into graphics section over here and then uh, it will automatically detect your graphic setup but if you want you can change this for display mode i highly recommend you guys to play on a uh, full screen but if full screen is not showing up for you guys you can go with a borderless full screen then you have the gpu and in case you're using a laptop gpu you can switch it to a dedicated gpu if your laptop has any then the resolution should be a native resolution but you can even decrease the resolution on the lower side to get higher fps vsync i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing to off because vsync at first uh, limits your frames so you will be automatically uh, limited to the 60 fps but if you turn this thing off it will be really good you will be getting unlimited fps then brightness contrast and saturation all of these three settings are personal preferences you can set it according to your monitor all the way down now here is the best part resolution quality so dynamic resolution by default can be off so you can turn this thing on and you can actually set the minimum and maximum fps limit like for me the maximum fps limit will be 240 
that is the base refresh rate of my monitor and my minimum refresh rate is 60 so my game will automatically try to get at least 60 fps even while all of the resources are being utilized minimum render resolution you have to keep it all the way to the lower side as changing it all the way to the low side will allow your game to use as low quality as you can to get much more fps upscaling type i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off then upscaling quality leave it to custom because you're not changing any upscaling so you don't need this sharpening i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing to off then scroll down in the advanced section field of view you can set it to 100 and that will give you a much wide field of view then ray tracing i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing to off motion blur turn this thing to off ambient occlusion turn this thing to off bloom turn this thing to off chromatic abbreviation it does not have any effect on the performance so you can leave it on and depth of field you can turn this thing to off and that will basically remove the deep textures and allow your game to run much faster all the way down into quality you can go and change it to low and these are the absolute low settings that you can use and i highly recommend you guys to use the low settings if you have a very poor computer but you can always do a graphic test and see what the game automatically picks according to your computer but if you want to do any changes you can go with all any of these graphics over here once again if you go and take a look in the game for me it is completely pixelated but right now my gaming experience is much smoother so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below it really helps me out growing my channel once again we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and